Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth, and let's chat about House of Sky and Breath, book two of the Crescent City series. So this happened to my book. I am so freaking sad. I was eating hot Cheeto puffs and I got hot Cheeto stained on the page there. So I'm so sad. Oh, all right. Well, I'm excited to get into this book. I'm doing something a little different because I will be doing a quick recap. So yes, warning, there will be spoilers. So if you do not want to hear any spoilers, please skip ahead. Story begins with Sophie trying to find her brother Emil and help him escape the death camps, Kavala. She's working with Pippa, commander of a special unit called Lightfall, part of a human rebel group, Ophion. The group's goal is to rid the world of Veneer. Sophie has powers and possesses a secret intelligence that could completely upend everything. She is caught by Sendrell's now Celestina's Triary, the Hind, Mordok, Hind second in command, and Danica's father, the Hawk, Polox, and Baxion. Their nicknames are on the screen there. Emil is in hiding. It is up in the air if Sophie survives, enter in Bryce and the game to solve the mystery. B for Bryce, T for Therion, C for Cormac, and R for Rune, H for Hunt. Are you with me so far? Perfect. Bryce and Hunt are a thing. Cormac is in Rune is Rune's cousin and Bombshell supposed to marry Bryce for political reasons. Bryce doesn't want to be a princess and fulfill her royal duties. She uses her princess status to help Juniper in the ballet and that causes a rift in their relationship. We don't hear much from her for the rest of the story. Fury is doing her thing per usual. Because Bryce used her status, the Autumn King, aka her dad, took it upon himself to change Bryce's last name and that pisses her off. She gets back at the King by announcing her relationship with Hunt in front of everyone. Now Hunt is a prince. Rune is also forced into an arranged marriage with Hypoxia, the witch, but Hypoxia is in love with Celestine. Rune falls in love with this secret agent called Day, and surprise, it's the Hind. Ethan finds a potential fender, uh, and that fender was located in the astronomer's tank, uh, which could challenge Sabin. They free nymphs and a dragon called Arnardin. Arnardi? <laughs> totally butchered that name. We later learn in the story, Emil doesn't have powers and he gets adopted into Bryce's family so people can stop hunting him. Therian is tired of the River Queen to the point where he turns to the Viper Queen for freedom in return, be her slave. Cormac doesn't like Bryce because he's in love with Sophie. It's confirmed she is dead and he is devastated. Later on, he dies trying to distract the enemies to give Bryce and the gang time in the Eternal City. Baxion reveals he has a change of heart and he loves Danica. So many secrets Danica keeps from Bryce. Bryce then ends up going to the Eternal City to find out what Danica and Sophie knew. Bryce discovers that the Asteri secrets, they conquer worlds and take their energy. However, Hell is a planet they couldn't dominate. Bryce transported herself to a different planet as she's trying to get to Hell. Meanwhile, Baxian, Rune, and Hunt are captured by the Bright Hand of the Asteri, aka Regillus. We don't really know his true form. He just inhabits a teenage boy's body. All right, so didn't go over every little detail of the recap but i hope that's enough to at least jog your memory so that when we do read the next book you're like already caught up what i liked about the book queen viper is still one of my favorite characters she's very loyal to those who are loyal back to her um she doesn't let people get away with things and she doesn't really pick a side which i appreciate but i feel and hope that that doesn't come back and bite her in the button in the end, I feel like 
what's been happening in the story i feel like eventually she might have to choose a side so i do hope that she will choose the winning side she's very smart so i think um that won't be an issue i not as invested in the second book as i was in the first book i didn't really like the side story of like Emil and Sophie, you know, I didn't really care for them. And so I get why the story was used that way to connect different characters together and, and the plots. But to me, that uh, side of the story wasn't really interesting for me. Another thing I thought was off-putting about the book was how often Bryce and Hunt are all over each other. I'm at this point just tired of their uh, public displays of affection. So uh, hopefully the next book will dial down their romance, but I, I doubt it. Like always, please let me know your thoughts. Did you like the book? Didn't you like the book? Who is your favorite character? Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Happy reading.